Hey guys, hey guys. What's up? Alright, so continuing on with the lore through. Um, we just cleared out Anne Orlando. We uh, took care of La Trek and got all the lore from everything in here. Um, the only thing which I might want to do before we uh, try to venture back to Firelink, which is obviously going to be our first stop because we can return the soul of the Ash Maiden to her where she was resting. But, um,. We're going to go pay Dark Sun Gwendolyn a visit, actually. Um, now, we can fight the Gwendolyn, but uh, we're going to save that for another time. Just because there's plenty of other things to do here um, with that and one of them we're gonna do right now so I wanna make sure that we keep him alive for a while oh you know what we actually cannot visit uh, Gwendolyn we need to go to the catacombs first which is the first thing we're gonna be doing so, well, the second thing we're going to be doing. First, we got to go back to Darkroot Garden, which means that we need 20,000 souls, which means that we should kill a few of these sentinels, probably. And what we're not going to do is we're not going to talk to King Seeker for Amped. We are not doing that storyline. We don't have any souls, do we? None that we want to use. How much do these guys give us? We have one, two, three, one, two, so we have six of these guys. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So we should be able to get enough is all I'm trying to say. Oops. I think we can get 20,000, but well, yeah, we're pretty much going to go straight to and Andre. We're not going to actually like fight anyone, so pardon me, but I'm going to do this real quick. Come on, sentinels. It is interesting. There are two different giant sentinels. There's these ones, and then there's... Um, 
the ones like in by the way when you see me do stuff like that and I just like tank a hit or whatever I mean I am trying to roll <laughs> but I do have like a very like I don't like to roll I don't like to panic roll I don't like to roll early and do all that stuff like so I'm trying to roll at the exact right time so just so it doesn't look like I'm just like Duh. well that one I <laughs> that one I just didn't think he was going for a second hit Alright, well that'll do it for us. I think we're good. We'll be back for you later. So yeah, remember she said we'll see a revelation, and I think that again refers to the fact that Gwynd Guinevere is not real. And is more like a a reverie, a dream. Hmm. So you have received a revelation, very auspicious. I hope for the best. I pray that through you, her wish will be granted. So, the Lady of the Darkling is a blade of the Dark Moon. And she wants me to link the fire, too. It is not... Ooh, I should not... <laughs> yeah, be careful of hovering over that. I can reinforce my Estus with the Firekeeper's soul, and I don't want to do that, because Anastasia has some cool lore for us. Have you heard of Seek the Scales? Yes. In legend, he turned against the ancient dragons. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, and was allowed to pursue his research. At the Regal Archives... He immersed himself in research on scales of immortality, the one thing that he did not have. But his very research drove him mad. The archives became a dungeon, a place for sinister experiments. Now, nobody dares even approach the Duke's forbidden archives. It looms over this land high atop the mountain. But I should warn against even an approach. Yeah, so we talked a little bit about this earlier and... You know, we'll get into it more as we start getting to Duke's Archives, which will probably be the last area we go to. But, yeah, I mean, he started research on scales, on dragon scales, and the immortality that was provided by those, which is also what the Path of the Dragon, or the Way of the Dragon Covenant is doing as well. But um, I don't know if that he went mad. Um, I mean, we'll see about that, but... Um, yeah, I mean, so he, in his journey to find all that stuff, although I know that he found something great and interesting and new, but she doesn't know this, or at least she doesn't say anything. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he did, you know, have all these experiments. That's what, you know, he created the Moonlight Butterfly. I think he created the Man Serpents. I, you know, I think he created the... Um, what do you call it? Mimic chests. I mean, I think he did a lot of different crazy things, and we'll 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 see the Pisakas later, and uh, in 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 the the dungeon he had, or the prison that he has there, and we'll you know we'll talk more about his experiments and who those people are and, and all that stuff. But it's the first kind of formal lore on on what Seath was all about. So, if you require rest, that all right. Well. Let us do what we need to do. Too bad the, uh... Huh. Too bad the, uh... Crestfallen Warrior was not around once we could learn more about us. Anastasia. Well, let's talk to this fool. Well... Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This 
Knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. Miracle. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> there you are. I'll be heading... No worries. <laughs> yeah, um, so I meant force. Um, we saw a force before, and that's like a miracle associated with gods. We also have a very powerful version of force, which we had <laughs> done to us, but we haven't seen the miracle yet called Wrath of the Gods, that the, the sentinels inside of the main chamber, main cathedral, used. But this is a mint force. Outland miracle foreign to the way of light. A mint shockwave. Considered an alternative in Brit branching of force emits an expanding shockwave orb so this only in the only lore about this but it's i think it's the only example of it but it just goes to show that the way of the white does not have a monopoly on miracles or anything or or that like you know the tales of the of the gods can be told over and over again and they can branch off from the actual tales like we saw great heel excerpt which is like only a few verses from Great Heel, but like this is kind of one of those things where it's completely retold, even if it's the same story. And the story, of course, is probably the Wrath of the Gods story, the original miracle. This is why I wanted to kill Petrix because I wanted to get to the way uh, I wanted to be able to read all of the all of the miracles. Um, but again, in time. In time. Of course. Recur return Firekeeper's soul to its owner. Now something really interesting does happen here. When we restored her, we restored her perfectly. And we restored all of her deformations, namely her tongue. Which I think is an interesting point about when restoring something with a soul, or at least with a firekeeper soul. Um, you know, it brings them back to their ideal state. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. So she's from Astora. I don't know if I mentioned that previously, but uh, that's where Andre's from, and uh, and that's where um, Oscar is from. You know, quite a few important characters are from there or whatever but uh yeah so the village cut out her tongue so that she couldn't speak ill of no god and now she's i mean that question that was asked i suppose is re referencing the fact that like rickard i mean she is kind of keeping herself here um because she's got a duty to do she does not want to say anything bad in fact if we try to speak with her forgive me i am impure my tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. If only we could cut it out for her. So yeah, I mean... We will talk to her again. She will have more things to say. Um, but obviously, that's all she says for now. It's just an interesting thing. I mean, her culture in Astora, specifically the village that she's from, was ingrained to, into her so much that she believes herself to be impure and that she should no longer be able to speak and whatnot. So, um, we're going to check out Rickard. I mean, Rickard has quite a few things to say throughout the game. I, 
I, you know, I don't really talk to him ever. But this is a lore through. I just don't know all his triggers, so I'm sure we've missed some stuff. But let's see what he has to say. Ah, hello. Then. What weapons have you brought? Go on, show me. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk Okay, so in this case... Come back soon. <laughs> nothing. I know he talks about Logan, and I think we missed that, but... Um... Yeah. Alright. So, now, popularly, we would talk to Koth. Oops. To Frant. And give him the Lord Vessel, and he'd be like, Thank God you found the Lord Vessel. I asked to get the Lord Vessel. Um, and now you can, you know, be the new king, the new heir of fire, and restore us back into the age of fire instead of, you know, the fading flame and getting into the age of dark. However, I do not want to speak with Frampt because I do not intend to do that storyline. And, uh, yeah. Anything new? Oh, hello. I appreciate the attention, but that will cert. Have you ever cast one of- No. Goodbye then. Do stay- Hello there. I thought that perhaps you- So have you come to- Heading out, are you? Yeah, I mean, they might carry new- New, uh... Sorceries at some point during the game, but, you know. get around up here and kill these so I don't get hit as I'm trying to like cross the the gap all right wow did not mean to jump there okay so Domnal is gonna have some stuff for us of course I'm not gonna buy anything I might I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose you said that to me. Like it. Okay. Hmm. I'm afraid. Okay. Okay. Gollum. Ornstein's helm. So yeah, we would get Smo's stuff if we killed him second. Smo is a great, interesting character, and I would, you know, I think in any given playthrough someone has probably killed Smo second instead of Ornstein so that's why I did it this way but um, definitely should uh, read his own armor to learn about him he's a cannibal he's eating people <laughs> so he's kind of a fun fun little story but Ornstein let's read about him Helm of the Dragon Slayer Ornstein, Ornstein, who guards the cathedral in the forsaken city of Anor Londo. Ornstein is believed to be the captain of the Four Knights. His golden lion helm is imbued with the power of lightning and should provide good protection against it. Yeah. So he's the captain of the Four Knights, which is cool. Still haven't learned. Well, that is a shame then. Not every tr there'll be more in store for Wow, shut up. Um there is quite a bit of story with him, but I guess we get it through other means. And the other thing that we're gonna do just for the fun of it. This is gonna be a bit of a, a loose ends episode, I guess. Maddie? I uh, I remember too that I probably should just farm humanity with in the depths off screen just so I can get the required amount to uh, to do Solaris storyline or whatever. Speaking of which. We are trying to do Solaris storyline. Oops. Oh, headshot. I'm just killing these guys for ease. 
I could just run through her, I suppose. Uh, but I believe it is after Orange Dance. Well, I mean, of course, this could be. Let me go here, and then all of a sudden. It's all for naught, but. Oops. Poor turning it to the altar of sunlight. I don't know if you should be able to see Solaire there, but if you can, he's not there. Surely thought he would be there after Anne Orlando. Maybe we need to summon him. I don't know. Maybe he's down at the edge. I'll try taking a quick look. I mean, that would suck if that was the case. comes back. Oops. Alright. <laughs> um oops. <laughs> Alright, so we went back to Anna or Fire and Shine. And we got everything we did there, and so we want to go to the Undead Parish. And rest. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything for it? Oh, yes. And one other thing about the Darkroot Garden. It is said to house the grave of Sir Artorius, the Abyss Walker. I know that. Only of those who ventured into the forest, none has returned. Yeah, we heard that before from someone. Oh, yes. Oh, I really hope you don't lose your covenant status if you join another one. We're gonna find out the hard way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go get yourself. Let's do this. So yeah, I'm going to join the, uh, I'm going to join the covenant now for the forest, the forest covenant. Um, nice. That is one hit now. Oops. I want to pick that up. Um, so, yeah. I'm 
So we're going to go visit the grave of Artorias right now. And we're going to join the Forest Covenant to do this. And that is going to, I'm going to make sure that we have kindled this bonfire. And I should probably put these three. No, well, let's reverse hollowing and kindle this just so we have 10 for Sif. Might as well. I'm going to farm them anyway, so. Might as well do this. Alright. And we have magic weapon. Alright. I mean, I don't technically have to uh, join this, but let me see what happens if I just try to... There's only one item. Well, there's there's a couple. Oh no, but I, there's a couple items I want in here. Yeah, see, there there are two hitters now in here because this is a little bit further on. Yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna join. Just be easier. And if not, I'm going to have to just straight up farm 30 humanity, which is no big deal. I think these are supposed to represent uh, the starting classes. Um, I don't know if that's like intentional. Like, totally. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. So yeah, here's another character that speaks with the old dialect, and this is the first person that has told us that the tales of Artorias and that the fact that he crossed the abyss are probably not true. And this might be from the fact that Elvina, this character, was alive at the time that that happened. So just another interesting way that speaking is story driven here. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now thou art one. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever you shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt. Such wretchedness never will we tolerate. That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but I've never heard it myself. But there's this like weird not like nam 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 sound going on. Well. Alvina's talking, and I was just noticing that 
Alvina's mouth moves. I mean, she's not a person, but she certainly does move similar to um, Andre. But I noticed that it was moving with her meow, meow, meow sounds, not her actual voice. Ah, thou dost cometh. How fares ye? My hopes for thee are of the highest. Do not such a hope shatter with foul disproportion. Um, okay. Ah, my hope. Okay, we can't do anything with her yet. But let's read the ring that she gave us. Ring granted by those bound to the forest hunter covenant. Answer Elvina's summoning. The white cat Elvina speaks a human tongue and has lived since the age, from the early age of fire. Aha! Alvina was a trusted friend of Knight Artorius and the Great Wolf Sif. So, that's everything completely dispelled. Um, Alvina would have known them personally, and even though that they're friends, is saying the myth is a lie, uh, which is uh, something that we'll only find out in the DLC. Anyway, now that we're a part of the Covenant, we can talk to uh, Shiva. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East. Captain of the Brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules, you hear? Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. Only don't forget what Avina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. <laughs> Don't worry now. You'll be called in soon enough. Hunt us with patience. Don't worry. You There used to be a, a plot line. Uh, yeah, so now that I'm part of the Covenant, uh, these guys will no longer attack me. Although, there's going to be a period here where I want to attack them. I mean, I'll probably want to kill, um, you know, Shiva and, and, and stuff too. But um, this, is a, this is someone that has some lore attached to her. Even though, yeah, I may or may not, you know, get Ferris's hat or whatever, but um, I almost certainly will kill um, Shiva at some point. Yeah, so basically, uh, this place is, uh, this is a place that you visit in the DLC, but in the DLC you visit it a long, long time ago. So, it is not known as Dark Root Garden or anything, and, uh, this area, um, down here, where the waterfall is and stuff, is where you fight a boss. Um, is this where you fought? Is that where you fight the Taurus demon? Not really sure as to where that is. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Which of these are items and which are. Oh, those are the two guys I kill, right? Oh, there's more guys coming for me now. Just trying to get Shiva's clothes, which I'm not really sure what this is all about. Like, why? I mean, maybe they're just the, the style of clothes, but as far as I know, these are claimed to be Shiva's clothes. Oh my god.
Well, at least they don't hit too hard. Oh, there's constantly more of them. And only one... Okay. Does say Eastern. I think that's Hellkite's bridge, which means that that's probably where we fought Taurus. Um, yeah. Is this one of the people we killed, or is this an item? I only thought there was one. Something important in this area in the past. I just. I know there's something in the next section which we're gonna go to. Alright, uh, let's look at the Eastern Armor. Distinct, distinct helm made in an eastern land. Exclusively crafted, this helm offers excellent defense, particularly versus slash attacks, which are one of the main threats in the battles of the east. Well, that's the way I attack. So yeah, Shiva is from the east, obviously, and then it has a ninja bodyguard which is wearing a, a ring of fog. Or, yeah, probably a ring of fog. This is nice, so we don't have to farm it. I actually don't know that the, this drops, but the giant, or the stone knights here, we'll learn a little bit more about, okay, here we go, stone helm. Moss-covered helm of the stone knight, defender of the dark garden. The stone knight is the product of an ancient magic, and although this helm is also imbued with magic. It is incredibly heavy. Um, yeah, so I mean, we will learn in the future about the magic associated with this area um, and how it differs from the sorcery magic or whatever that we've encountered thus far. We've really seen two different types. I mean, we've seen one primarily and only hints of another. Um, one is uh, one is uh, you know the sorcery of Vinheim Dragon School, and the other one is crystal sorcery. So these guys suck. I mean, I think at this point, I mean, especially with my health down, this guy can kill me in one hit. Oh. And they have a million health. They don't think they bleed. I don't know. Fungus doesn't bleed. But mushrooms... We'll meet a mushroom later in the DLC. Although, I think she was turned into a mushroom. I don't think 
mushrooms were really... And they drop gold to pine resin, which I have no idea why. But I love this area, it's so cool. There's just like little things, and I really want what's in that chest. Oh, he did bleed, I think. It's good that the like little ones don't swarm you or anything. Oh my god. Alright. Enchanted Ember. Finally have something to talk to Rickard about. Oh, it's a key item, sorry. Oh, we didn't read the Lord Vessel. Oh my goodness. Lord Vessel bestowed upon the Chosen Undead who is destined to succeed Lord Gwyn. The Chosen Undead is granted the art of warping between bonfires. To open the door, place this vessel on the Firelink Altar and fill it with powerful souls. Well, we haven't seen that quite yet. Ember requiring for what procession? Uh, ascension. This enchanted ember, a form of sorcery, is a vestige of the lost land of Ulusil. So I've been avoiding saying the name. But sorcery's enchanted weapon that inflicts magic damage is boosted by intelligence. So yeah, now we finally have heard Ulusil. That is what this area was before it became Dark Root Garden. And, um, this area, is an important place. But of course now we see um, the gravestone. I guess I shouldn't have done that magic weapon. I'll do it later. We see the gravestone of Artorias. There's a big... Um, there's a big uh, sword in front of it. And there's also this item back here which we can grab before the fight goes. And that is the Hornet Ring. Let's read that real quick. Um, it's another Knight of Gwyn's thing. So we have all four now. So we already had um, uh, the Artorius's ring, which we did find in Dark Root Garden, by the way. But now we have Ornstein, Artorius, Goth, and now the Hornet Ring belonged to the Lord's Blade, Searin or Kiaran. By boosting critical attacks, it's where it can annihilate foes, as Kiaran's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemies. So yeah, we'll meet Lord Gwyn, uh, Lord Blade's uh, Ciaran or Kiaran uh, in the DLC as well. Unfortunately, you really only get to meet or Ornstein. Anyway, this is the Sword of Artorias. I saw a YouTube channel where they made they actually made that. They 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 uh, smithed it. They forged it. Pretty cool. Uh, by the way, you do meet Sif. Oh. Okay. This is going out really well. What, who was they? Who was Sif attacking? Uh, I'll explain later. <laughs> I can't do it while I'm fighting. Oh, that's not a good one. So you meet Sif in the DLC uh, as well. You know, I don't, I'm not sure we'll. I'm sure we'll, we'll do it, but 
if you actually can do this uh, out of order. So if you were to, um, if you were to uh, basically meet Sif in the past and then do this fight, they actually programmed a different animation in for the fight to start, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Oh, is that my souls? Can I see them through like the world or through the door or something? Yeah, I think I could see them through the world. All right. Should probably use a uh, shield for this attack, but I'm stubborn. There's my bleed. The Sif does limp and all that stuff, but you know, when you get to this stage, just take it out as quickly as possible. You don't want to see that. So yeah, I get uh, the Covenant of Artorias, which is a ring, the Soul of Seth, and some standard stuff. So let's see what this uh, Covenant of Artorias is. It says Traverse Abyss. This ring symbolizes Knight Artorias's covenant with the Beast of the Abyss. Beasts of the Abyss. It's where, like Artorias himself, can traverse the Abyss. Good to know. Uh, we also got Sif's soul. Soul of Sif, the great gray wolf, who guards the grave of Artorius the Abyss Walker. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Sif, who inherited the divine knight sword, to acquire a huge amount of souls, or to create a unique weapon. Um, so yeah, here is... Grave of Artorius. You can see the script on there, which is the same script as like the summoning signs and stuff. This, the, you know, or the messages. You can see it's like runes or like uh, Arabic inspired characters. And the other thing that's really interesting is that there's a whole bunch of different swords um, that have been placed around. Uh, even a really big sword here. But, um, by the way, this so this is a woman. I don't know that this is Ciaran. Um, by the way, this is where we got Ciaran's ring. But, you know, we do find Ciaran around where we killed Artorius. Um, ah, spoilers. Um, okay, well, never mind. Okay, so there are, um, there are gravestones. I just, I saw this small grave here, and I was like, oh, maybe that's CRN, certainly not Sif. Uh, but there's a whole bunch. 
But yeah, the uh, there's a bunch of swords. You can see there's a spy hander. You know, we can see some like rapiers and some s stocks and stuff. And there's like the great sword and and all that stuff. So people, I don't, you know, people have always said like people go to find the grave of Artorias and then they never come back. And so I don't know if this is related to that, if they've come to like pay their respects and then they drop their their sword and, and then maybe even die here, or if they're literally just saying, you know, there's a covenant of hunters before you get there and they kill everyone. I don't know what they're saying. But in order to um, let us um, get at the end of the episode here, so um, let us uh, let us take care of a few things before we uh, we end it up. In fact, let's just homeward bone. All right, I want to talk to. Uh, Ander, because it seems to me like he would um, be the most likely to have something to say. Uh, yeah. Always could use some more clumps, I mean. We're, we're going to go back to uh, we're going to go back to uh, in fact we'll probably do that next episode we'll go down to uh, Ash Lake yeah I guess we have a lot of like last minute things to take care of before we uh we kind of go on with the actual story. In fact, this I probably shouldn't have done until I did all my other things. All right, let's see what he has got to say. Hmm, that's an odd ember you have there. Ah, I know what you were thinking, but I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. We give it to Rickard. Oh, yes. Oh, well. <laughs> well we, I'll be seeing you there. We went through and we got back alive, Andre, so don't say you never met anyone who's never come back. Um, and yeah, let us uh, go to Firelink. And then we can talk to Rickard and call this episode an episode. But this is what I need to do. To rest. So I always forget to do that. We'll do record on the way to Playtown. What am I thinking? All right. Forgive. I am in pure. Leave. I would. All right. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll do uh, next part of the lore through next time. Thanks.